Well, unfortunately, this build has taken a turn for the worst. Today, we finally, just leave that right here. We finally put in the KO4 in the GTI. And uh, as it sits right now, we're actually about halfway through. So let's show y'all where we are at the moment. So we got everything attached. Everything's on in 75. The hoses that I can put on while it's out of the car. And we're gonna try to Put the turbo in from the top and uh, let's go. Let's see what we got. A lot of people are like, man, you know, the KO4 is not that much bigger than the KO3 and all of that, this, that, and the other. If you take a look here, we're gonna try to get them side by side. Take a look, there is actually a. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's great. The uh, the impeller is actually a considerable amount bigger. It doesn't look like it on camera, but in person, you can actually see it. And uh, I would take off the uh, compressor housing on this one, but I'm trying to avoid that this time. Right now, I'm in the process of swapping all of the different pieces and parts from the KO3 over to the KO4. So far, it has not gone smoothly. I can't, I can't lie to you. We're about four or five hours in and we're here at this middle juncture. I think going back in will be a little bit easier than, than the uninstall. So uh, to give you guys a little bit of a visual, let me, uh, <clears throat> oh, that bad boy. This shield was annoying to get out. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was covering back here. Getting actually. the turbo out was a whole lot of fun because I had to actually separate the cold side and the hot side while it was still stuck in the vehicle. So that was nice. The turbo had no shaft play, but as you can see, uh, some of the fins have little chinks missing out on the very, very, very tip. It's, it's not gonna affect the turbo's operation any, but just interesting to see that there. So I took off the wheel originally to uh, get the axle out, but unfortunately my uh, my 24 mil triple square actually uh, snapped on me. So I couldn't find one because it's Sunday, of course. New wheels, just put these on here, They're beautiful. Full set is beautiful on this car, which you would have seen already. And as you guys already know, we got the uh, three inch downpipe. So we're gonna be sorted. We're gonna be sorted pretty good. But now we're gonna swap everything over and get back with you guys. This is my KO4 Turbo that you guys have seen in many videos. I've teased on it a lot. I've gotten a lot of people excited um, so I said, hey, man, I'm going KO4. They're like, man, dude, that's great. That's amazing. And unfortunately, today I have bad news. So imagine you're looking at the engine block. Everything is at about this angle here, and everything needs to be flush. Well, if you take a look, and I'm sure you can see it now, this protrudes. Now, the reason it protrudes, I don't know. All I know is that TSI cars 
have different motor mounts to facilitate for the protrusion. And FSI cars don't. My car's a 2007. So, I say all that to say this. This is not for sale. It is brand new. Um, it does have a brand new N75 valve on it and brand new clamps, brand new everything. It's a little dirty from trying to install it for six hours. Yes, six hours. But we came to the conclusion that this was hitting and, and just allowing no movement whatsoever so you can't actually fit the turbo. So like I said, this is a TSI K04 turbo. If any TSI guys, 2008 and a half and up, uh, A3s, TTs, GTIs, please drop a comment and uh, we'll see what we can work out. But yeah, like I said, it's a bit of a sad ending, but it is what it is. You know, not every build is perfect. So definitely stay tuned. I do have the correct turbo in the mail. So once that gets here, we will you know, get right and get it fixed. But again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.